tonight on DC News Now. It's dry now and clear now. We're tracking some cold weather as it gets closer to the region. The timing of all the cold air coming up. And feeding the less fortunate with the Thanksgiving picnic. Just because you're homeless, you deserve the same thing a working person in the district has. How one tradition is making sure people in the community are full this Thanksgiving. A family devastated after the loss of their son. You stole from me. And how much that mean to me. You meant the world to me. How that family is making do this holiday season. Stretching your dollar, saving cash at home with those Thanksgiving leftovers. Plus later, we've got Black Friday deals you don't want to miss. We'll fill you in before you fill your cards. You're watching the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Yamar Sassay and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Let's go right to Weather Center for a look at your Thanksgiving forecast. Meteorologist Scott Sumner's in for Janessa Webb tonight. Scott, how's that forecast looking? Actually, crystal clear right now here. <laughs> yeah, Marie, and it's uh, also very chilly, too. We're getting that way. As you can see, again, the Washington Monument, our current temperature is 48 degrees. When I was with you at uh, 6 o'clock, it was at 54 degrees. We dropped to 6 degrees over the last three hours or so. At that trend, you average it out two degrees an hour. We'll be going through the 40s fairly quickly, and after midnight, we'll be getting into the 30s at some point. Now, notice here across the board, we do have clear skies, like I said, up a little high, thin cirrus clouds. None of these clouds have any rain associated with them, even though they are continuing to move up in our direction. So in the meantime, just enjoy the chill because there are the numbers here. 10 o'clock, 11 midnight uh, and thereafter getting into the 30s here around 4 o'clock in the morning in the Washington, D.C. area before turning the corner and going back up into the uh, 40s by 8 or 9 o'clock in the, the morning. Now, I know a lot of you have traveled the last couple of days to get to wherever you're going for Thanksgiving, but some of you have a quick turnaround and you're traveling somewhere else and leaving tomorrow. <laughs> so as a result, uh, I've got a more Morning and afternoon and evening uh, planners uh, for you for those who are traveling tomorrow flying out of Dulles or really any of the local airports in the DC region uh, cold and clear mostly cloudy a little bit of a northwest wind tomorrow but again a dry day for driving and or flying and of course tomorrow is Black Friday so this is our forecast here 41 to 55 degrees and again mainly cloudy but dry yeah Marie well, thank you so much, Scott. Well, today, Central Union Mission in Northwest D.C. served hearty Thanksgiving meals to hundreds of people in need. It took weeks to prepare for one of their busiest days of the year. Now, year round, the union does provide shelter, meals and job training to people who are experiencing homelessness or just need help finding their way. As our Randy Bass reports, for many of those people they serve, the holiday means more than just a meal. A day to give thanks. We ask for your blessing on this meal. And a day to look back. I came here 10 months ago and I had run into some difficulties. I had reached the bottom. When I initially came here, I didn't know, you know, how I would put my life back together. Robert Vaughn and Robert Henderson both spent time at Central Union Mission this year. I do classes, uh, spiritual, uh, 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 spiritual guidance here, um, substance abuse classes. I'm in a 12-step program. And after months of hard work and healing, things have gotten much better. Um, my family's back in my life, my adult children, you know, um, my grandkids, and it's just been an amazing journey these 10 months. All in time for a very happy holiday. It's a joy. It's a joy. These are things that I miss, you know, uh, because of my lifestyle that I was leading. Now, Henderson and Vaughn are both looking ahead to even brighter days. I've graduated from the program and I've been able to uh, obtain employment and um, pretty soon I will be moving out of here to, into my own place. So I have a lot to be grateful for. They're putting me back together piece by piece and I look forward to that, you know. With plans to give back to the place that gave them so much. In Northwest DC, I'm Randy Bass, DC News Now. Well, with the busy holiday season, Amtrak is adding more service and extra cars to existing trains to help with the holiday travel. Additional service runs through next Monday. They say ridership is closing in on pre-pandemic levels, leading to some sold-out routes this holiday. 
would encourage people, if you haven't booked your ticket yet, go ahead and do that. Um, if you are planning on taking Amtrak, um, you want to just go ahead and book as soon as possible, so that way, you know, make sure that you have, have space. Now, Amtrak says when you book a ticket online or in the app, you can see how many seats are available on each train. Now, the Thanksgiving holiday means a few changes for certain services. Trash and recycling services will be pushed to Saturday the 25th in D.C. and in Maryland. And in Virginia, trash services will be shifted back one day. All county and government offices will be closed today and tomorrow. And in, in Montgomery County, ride on will run on a Sunday schedule today and flex bus will not be in service. Metro bus and Metro rail will run on a Sunday holiday schedule today and resume regular service tomorrow. And in the district, parking enforcement will be suspended except for streetcar ticketing and towing. What well, happening now, many national retailers are closing their doors today. If you need to run out to pick something up, here's what you'll need to know. Now, Target, Walmart, and Costco are closed. CVS stores that are not 24 hours will close early, and most 24-hour Walgreens locations will be open. Now, most Whole Foods locations will be open, but with adjusted hours. Well, on this gorgeous and sunny Thanksgiving day was especially bright for some people in Anacostia. The entire D.C. neighborhood was welcome to an open table event to enjoy a full turkey meal. Our Stephen Cohen tells us the community bonding was every bit as special as a Thanksgiving feast. Thanks to the generosity of one local business owner, an entire neighborhood is transformed on Thanksgiving. At Busboys and Poets in Anacostia, the door is open to anyone who wants food and fellowship on Thanksgiving. For restaurant owner Andy Shalal, that is extremely important. So these types of events, you know, we do on a regular basis. This is not just Thanksgiving, but we do them throughout the year to really kind of remind ourselves of our common humanity and how we can all share in the bounty of the city. It's not just about having the restaurant, but it's also about having a community heart, and that's what, what Andy has. It's to put a smile on people's faces and to be able to just be able to have them feel the warmth of what this holiday brings in terms of being like a family. Lots of smiles today, both from the people eating and from the volunteers. I think everyone is leaving here feeling more warm today. Even those without a home who are every bit as welcome here. Just because you're homeless, you deserve the same thing a working person in the district has. And as Busboys and Poets owner Andy Shalal explains it, it's not just about serving a meal, it's about making an impact on the community. Reporting from Southeast, Stephen Cohen, DC News Now. Well, new tonight, a D.C. family is without their son this Thanksgiving. Now, the victim of yet another shooting in the nation's capital, 18-year-old Shane Williams was gunned down last Friday night in front of his southeast D.C. home as his father watched in horror. Our Leonard and Fleming spoke to the Williams family tonight about their son's murder. And Leonard, they say they're feeling an unspeakable grief, right? That's exactly right. Shane Williams had his life ahead of him, ahead of him. He was a freshman at Bowie State University and a new father of four month year old baby. Now he is dead and his killers on the run for his family left behind. Thanksgiving, they say, will never be the same. Police say Shane was shot around November 17th around 10 22 p.m. in the 4000 block of Waller Court in Southeast D.C. Two gunmen, his father Theodore Williams II says, walked up and shot Shane after he exited a car that was dropping him off. Williams' father says he watched the shooting unfold from the driver's seat of his car. Shane's mother, Sharon Williams, says she is heartbroken over her son who was studying criminal justice at Bowie State University. I really don't feel as though I have anything to be thankful for right now. I am torn apart that my son is not here to celebrate Thanksgiving with us. They took my only child that I had left in this world. He loved holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthdays. And for him not to be here to celebrate that with us, it hurts. It's only D.C. police are offering a $25,000 reward to catch Shane's killers. Meanwhile, the Williams family is planning a, planning a candlelight vigil in front of their home this Saturday at 6 p.m. Reporting from the studio, Leonard N. Fleming, D.C. News Now, back to you. 
Well, thank you so much, Leonard. Now some changes are coming to signs in Fairfax County shopping centers and parking lots. And the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors is revising signage regulations in the area. Now the board approved increasing the maximum nighttime brightness of electronic signs in commercial areas. No changes will be made to signs in residential areas. The board is also removing size limitations for signs in reserved parking spaces. And this includes electric vehicle charging and mobile order pickup spaces. Now the county board is also planning to reduce the time it takes to file an, an appeal for minor sign. Well, today of all days, it's so important that as we gather with our friends and family, we give thanks that the NFL scheduled three games on Thanksgiving and get to enjoy football with family, of course. Now, the stakes were high as the entire country watched an NFC East rivalry for the ages. The Washington Commanders traveled to Jerry World for an intense battle against the Dallas Cowboys. Now, that game going wrapped up a short while ago, the score was the score was Dallas at 45 and the Commanders with only 10. Now keep it here. We'll take a closer look at that Turkey Day game in tonight's game night at 11. Now the Washington Capitals held their Caps giving festivities yesterday. The event featured a youth hockey match between periods with the kids wearing traditional hockey uniforms. They were actually replaced by turkey costumes. Now the team was excited to hit the ice while looking ahead to the, in today's big meal. Well, in last night's game, the Capitals beat the Sabres on an overtime goal with less than five seconds remaining in the period.